Nee, 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 nee. Brown one is still laying. About three, four eggs a week. It's not bad for December. White one is a bit paranoid.
morning. Ciao. I ran out of glue, then I had to buy glue, and but it's one of these home, home improvement projects. I think next year the big one is going to be the subroof. Uh, I'm really yeah. Just the other day I had oh yeah, yeah taking out o basically opening it all yeah, opening yeah. it so I, I can see straight to the doors and then rebuild it from the bottom. In a way, it's the liturgical and all the the sort of the, the church stuff takes yeah. precedence in a sense that. I'm gonna see my parents in the new year when I'm heading back home. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see my parents that often, so Christmas is really uh, the thing that brings the family together. Yeah, also. it's like a, it's a kind of a holy, well, not holy. I mean, it's a, to no, keep it, it clear. No. It, it, Christmas is always family thing. That, that is, so. and that is a good thing. Nice, fresh out. It's been a while. Yeah. Well, the, the nast nasturtium, this stuff that has sort of the spicy spiciness to it, is doing really well at the moment. So <laughs> I think the salad, I like it. the salad is having problems now with, with all these uh, plant juice. I don't know what you call them. Well, nice, but I forget. How's the um, the editing going? Well, I've I've basically completed all 12 episodes. How many? 12. 12, okay. So it's the whole year. Um, one year, the life of a part-time hermit is the title. It's, this, oh, it's like a series like that. Right. It's a series, yeah. It's a one, one off, so I'm not, I'm not doing anything that is uh, anything regular. But um, today I uploaded the, the last videos on, onto the one digital platform and the first one onto YouTube. I still yeah. have to do some is available now, but still have to do some chapter headings and stuff. All right. Are you filming like the garden and stuff, or uh, or building? Basically, it's it's a summary of this year. Yeah. When Kirsten was here, mm -hmm. I was sort of surprised at, at how how people reacted to the video. So yeah. A lot of people were like, "Oh, this is you know, be be interesting to have." Oh, yeah, she was here when I was here for three weeks or so. Yeah. Yeah. And so. I'd responded in the comments uh, to all the con kind comments that I was planning to do a 12 part series. I wasn't planning on doing anything larger. Yeah. But 2022 came around and, and it was not a good year because I was gone for, for the trip. And then I had um, 2023 it turned out to be a year in which I, I was here every month. I was also gone most months, but uh, and I was only here for a few weeks in the summer. But it sort of is a, you get the, the seasons, my favorite episodes are the fall because the colors are the best. Yeah, but you sort of get a um, a nice portrait of, of the the seasons and life here, and it's it has it has the garden how the garden develops, but it has the big projects I did this year like the the Volpini greenhouse and right. It has flashbacks to when I bought the place and restored it, what it looked like, and the footage I sh of when I did the the, the stove and, and the chapel and all of these things. So. Wow. It is yeah, it cleared up a bit. I was not sure if the sun would come out today. No, but it does. Oh, you got your black tail. Yeah, that stays all winter. Yeah, it's not super pretty at this in this season because everything is sort of uh, still quite green. What's that? That's um, um, English. It's loquat. Okay. It's Nespola. They call it here in in, in Italian. It's. So I recorded the temperatures here for the past two winters to see how low it would get. The last two winters were not very exemplary for the worst winters I could get. No. But this is sort of at the edge of where it could possibly grow. It's a bit slippery here. But I'm not wearing Crocs. Yeah, <laughs> you might be better suited to me. Oh, wow. 
very green. Oh, it's very warm. <laughs> yeah, well, it's actually not that warm today because the sun just came out. And humid as well, or it's strong, uh, strong humid. Seventy-five percent. What you also smell here is the, the musky smell of the of the um, um, fig tree back there. Right. That has, has this That's musky nice. smell. Yeah, I mean, I, there's still hope that uh, that I'll get red, um, red um, peppers. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Uh, yeah. Which I did not expect. Lemons are looking good. The lemons are looking good. I probably left too many on the on the tree, but because it's really wearing, it, uh, but it, it's okay. Another yeah. the same the same brand of lemon tree, but it has suffered a bit from pests. But it's blue. It's flowering back there. Right. That's an orange which has grown too much also. And another orange. Being too long. Did you yeah. did it fruit already or not? No, this this didn't fruit. And I would have taken it off. I also took out. I, I should have taken the last one probably too. But this is a satsuma, which you see the orange. Orange yeah. fruit. Orange. Oh, it's like a mandarina. Uh, the, you, do you see it? Yeah, I see it. I didn't, I didn't see it. Very it's well. a very small thing, but it it that had made I had, had I put twenty fruit, and I plucked all of them. I left one. I probably shouldn't have because the plant is so small. I mean. Uh, here are some the the peppers. Oh, nice! They're red too. Yeah, they're turning red. I've already harvested and and uh, some and and started drying them. But here you see, for example, something is eating them. Ah, there you go. The like mice. like with the salad, this or this the pietola is being eaten. Yeah. Ah. Uh, you have to share everything. Yeah, but you know, I, you know, I, I leave them so much <laughs> outside. Yeah. But. Here's the thing that I'm probably going to try to do. I don't know if it will work or not. But these tomat tomato plants are, are obviously now coming to the end, which is still nice in December. But if the winter is staying as mild as it is, and we have had minus eight, and I had 10 degrees more in here, just with the passive solar. So wow. if I manage to make, if, if any of these plants survive the winter, even without producing fruit, I would have a super head start next spring. To yeah, get so fruit. they come very early. Yeah. Yeah, because they would basically. Usually, just you do new plants yeah. every year. Yeah. But in 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 theory, uh, tomato plants in the climate where they come from are not are not annuals, but they they continue. Come from Mexico, right? Yeah, I've, I've, I've South America and some different yeah. parts. Mexico, the Aztecs and others cultivated them. Really nice smell. That's the fig tree. Musky. Yeah. But I'm glad it finally grew the leaves. She doesn't want to leave the cook.
21 December. Shortest day of the year. I'm at 1900 meters or so. 1800. I'm not gonna go to the top, which is 2100, but it's, it's a bit windy up there and quite cold and I'm not dressed for it. So. This is fine.
crazy outside. Roof is gone. night and it's not the end of it yet because today it's gonna to be the same weather it's a little quiet now ah and I got a bit of a cold I don't know why because it's very warm yesterday night it was 15 degrees Celsius which is hot for the time of year Yeah, I have to clean up a lot. The roofs, or all, all the tin roofs are gone. Uh, all the permanent buildings are fine, so that's good. But there's all kind of bits and things under the metal roofs, like the wood storage. I have to fix it up. Uh, the plastic roof of the outdoor kitchen is gone. It's not a big problem. Solar panels, the first ones broke a little bit. The panels are fine, it's still connected, it's still good. I have to fix it. Yeah, not a smooth end of the year. I have it's Friday now. And then Sunday morning I leave. So I have tomorrow clean everything up and leave it in a leave it so it can snow because it's probably gonna snow when I'm going.
Weather quieted down. I read they recorded 225 km per hour wind speed up on Sacra di San Michel, which is a church, top of the mountain, uh, in the other valley. It's quite a high number. I don't know how they record that. I recorded here 79 km per hour, and that was after the kitchen and the bits went flying over there. Because I started recording the, the data from the, the weather station, so I have actually graphs and logs of the temperatures and the winds, etc. So I'm gonna clean up today and then pack my bags. I'm gonna be away for a few weeks, so there's gonna be no videos on Sunday. But I am working on a video of the, like a compilation video of the second year. It should have been out in October already, but uh, been busy. And uh, Johannes is dropping a series, so that's things to watch. Yeah, it's been quite a year. I'm ready for a holiday. Um, yeah, thanks for sticking around for the support, messages, uh, IDs. I'm looking forward to the next year. So uh, enjoy your holidays and uh, yeah, see you next year. Thank you.